Hey everyone, how's it going? You join me today in the Citation 2 on the ground at Nice Côte d'Azur Airport, Lima Fox, Mike November, for a short hop to Logano, which is Lima Sierra, Sierra Zulu, Zulu Alpha. Alpha. Thank you. I don't know why I have problems with that. So uh, we got the airplane all ready to go, and we're just waiting for the passengers, and we'll get going on this very short hop. It's about 150 miles. We're estimating about 45 minutes of flight time here between the two airports. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. All right, the passengers are on board and comfortable. We've briefed them as well on the possibility of a uh, slightly harder landing in Lugano due to the shorter runway length and the steep approach. We're going to be trying to put it down early on the runway and not float because we don't want to have to do the missed approach as it's quite a complicated procedure, but we'll run through the uh, the entire flight here, all the procedures, just quickly before, so you guys know what we're going to be doing today. So we're currently parked up on Apron Kilo here in Nice. We'll be starting up and taxiing out all the way to take off on runway 04, right. we got to take off roll of about 3,000 feet, so we'll just be departing here from Alpha 3. After that, we've got the... BASIP 6 Alpha, our nav departure off runway 04 right, which brings us to climb 420 feet, then turn right, intercept the 138 radial outbound from the Nice VOR, which we have set 112.4, and to 8 DME, then we track 087 to Mike November 054 point, and then follow Usano, Tivno, and BASIP. Uh, for the departure, initial clearance is uh, flight level 100. Got that set in the altitude pre select. Uh, the route is pretty simple. We follow a couple of uh, VORs en route. And then, if we take a look at the arrival here into Lugano, we are on the Voguera 6 Lima arrival. So, we're starting here at the Voguera VOR, then track in direct Malpensa VOR which is just on the extended center line of the IGS approach into Lugano. The initial fix, in fact, is Pinnock, just here. So we'll be hitting Malpensa, then direct Pinnock. This is the IGS plate. IGS approach is basically sort of an eyeless, except you can't follow it down to the ground. We need to establish visual contact at uh, 2,650 feet here in our case for the 7% climb gradient. So we're going to be tracking Pinnock, uh, Caldo, a couple points here, then 2.5 uh, DME, not 2.5 DME, sorry, 2.5. Uh, so what I'm looking for, I guess it would be DME. 2 .5 DME. Yeah, 2.5 DME on the uh, localizer is our final approach fix where we decide if we have the runway uh, environment in sight or not. And um, this is uh, one of the steeper approaches, I think, uh, anywhere in the world. It's a 6.56 degree slope, which, uh, oh, 6.65, excuse me, degree slope, which uh, having done the test sector yesterday, the citation handles very well. But we do need to get into a steep descent configuration before the initial uh, fix so that we're ready and uh, we can maintain a decent approach speed into Lugano. And then once on the ground, we're landing runway 01 today. We'll probably uh, roll out and vacate on Zulu here and park up somewhere in front of the airport. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the entire flight today. It's quite uh, complicated uh, procedures, but uh, should be should be not too bad. And so we'll get uh, we'll get going. All right, we'll shut down the avionics here for the start, and we'll take a B4 starting checklist, please. All right, before start checklist, pre-flight inspections is complete. Cabin door is closed. Passenger briefing is complete. Battery switch is on. Parking brake is set. Wheel chocks are removed. Seats and pedals are adjusted. Cockpit lights. We'll go ahead and turn on some lights here on the dials. And the backlighting, all right, they're set. Rotating beacon. Rotating beacon is, this one here is on. All right, before start checklist complete. Okay, thanks, sir. 
we'll go ahead and open the gate. We'll be doing a GPU start on the right and a cross-gen start for the left. So gate is unlocked. Starter's engaged. 8%. Fuel on. Got N1. And ITT. There's the starter cutout, around 41%. NG, N2. Right, engine is stable. Go ahead and turn on the right side generator. Unplug the ground power. We have a good generator on the right. So we'll go ahead and start the left engine. Unlock the gate. Here's the starter. There's 8% already. Fuel on. We've got N1. And ITT on the left. Starter cutout on the left. All right, we've got two stable engines. Go ahead and turn on the left side generator. The two is good. And we'll take an after engine start checklist, please. All right, before taxi checklist, avionics power switches are on. DC amps and volts are checked. Anti-ice systems are not required. Passenger advisory lights is on. Anti-skid is on. Gyro pressure is in the green. Battery temp is good. Pressurization. Pressurization uh, cruise altitude is 180 today. So we will set. 180 here or 19 we'll 19 yeah, plus yeah. 1000 19 cabin rate is uh, pretty good there if not it's way too fast auto pressurization source normal and we'll go to cabin for pressurization so pressurization is set electric elevator trim is tested speed brakes are cycled. Belts and harnesses are adjusted and fastened. ADIS and clearance is copied. Avionics are set. EFIS is set. Inverters are checked. Autopilot and we'll just go ahead and set up the autopilot for departure. We have 10,000 in the pre-select. Flight director's coming on. We'll be departing on a heading mode. And we'll go out select and VS. And we'll set about 2,200 feet per minute. So that is set. Should probably do uh, nav mode departure. So yes, we have a turn actually, just about four hundred twenty yes. feet. Yes, we will go nav mode. Thank you. All right. So the autopilot is set. All right. Uh, flight controls. It's full aft, forwards, full left, full right, full left rudder, and full right rudder. Flight controls are free and correct. Flaps and trims. Flaps. Seven and trim set for takeoff. Takeoff data is uh, 
set, we've got a V1 of 91 knots, VR of 94 knots, V2 of 101 knots. Our en route climb speed initially is going to be 155 knots. Takeoff roll of about 3,000 feet. Our takeoff fan speed is 96.4 percent and our en route max continuous climb is 94 percent so we'll just go ahead and set 96.4 here on our 96.4 we'll try and get as close to that as possible so takeoff data is set crew briefing is complete all right before taxi checklist complete okay thanks sir so like i said earlier we'll just be uh leaving the kilo apron We'll be taxiing along uniform and we'll be taking uh, all the way down to Alpha 1, crossing 04 left and holding short of 04 right on Alpha 3. It's going to be quite a long taxi. All right. And we'll go ahead and test the brakes. Brakes are tested. Go ahead and throw the recog lights on. Clear on the left and clear and on the right. Clear on the right, thank you. Before takeoff checklist, anti-ice systems. Oh, I'll just go ahead and put the parking brake. Anti-ice will go pedostatic on. All right, exterior lights are as required for now. Transponder and radar are out. An insider panel is clear. All right, before takeoff checklist complete. Okay, thank you. So we are clear on the right, clear on the left. Go ahead and turn our landing lights on, and our anti-collision can come on, recog lights can come on, and we will put those on pulse. Got a V1 of 91, VR 94, V2 of 101, Runway heading up to 420 zero, feet. Four, right. Then a right turn following the flight directors up to 10,000 feet initially. Are you ready, Miss First Officer? I am ready. Roger that. Let's go to Logano.
on runway zero four right. Some airspeeds alive. Eighty knots. Check. V one rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Four hundred feet. Flaps up. Here's the turn. There's 155 knots. Watch that. Okay, we are now tracking inbound to the first point. And set. Let's move to 170, and we will turn the yaw damper on and the autopilot on. And we will take an after takeoff checklist, please. After takeoff checklist, landing gear is up. Yaw damper is on. Flaps are up. Ignitions are off. Climb power is set. Engine sink on fan. Pressurization is uh, checked. We have the cabin is pressurizing. All right, passenger advisor lights will remain on. Exterior lights. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn the landing lights off and keep the anti-collisions and recogs on. All right, and altimeters, uh, since we just passed our transition oh, altitude. Just passed 5,000 transition. Go ahead and set 10, 13. 10, 13 set, and we'll set 2992 on the standby altimeter. Okay, altimeters are set. All right, after takeoff checklist complete. Thank you. All right, we're passing through 10,000 feet. We'll just go ahead and close the recog lights and passenger light can go off. Pressurization is looking good. And so we'll join you guys back on the arrival into Logano.
Alright everyone, uh, so we're here, we're, we've started our descent and we're about uh, 10 miles away from the Malpensa VOR, which is just here located on the Milan uh, Malpensa airport, which is just on the extended center line as well of the 01 approach into Lugano. So we are now 10 miles from the VOR, we'll take the approach checklist please. Okay, approach checklist, landing data. Landing data is uh, reviewed and set. Crew briefing is complete. Belts and harnesses are secure. Avionics, flight instruments, and radio altimeter are set. Passenger advisory lights is on. Fuel cross feed is off. Anti-skid is on. Pressurization is set. Flaps uh, are up for the moment. And engine synchronizer. We will take that off. Roger. That's the approach cycle is complete. Thank you. All right, six miles out now from the VOR, and then we'll be turning to intercept. Well, we're not turning to intercept, but we'll be turning inbound to panic, which is the initial fix. And uh, when we do that, we'll switch to heading mode and switch our nav source to uh, nav one where we've got the IGS frequency here set standby. And, uh, yes? Outside end temperature is just about zero degrees. It is just about zero. Visible moisture. So we'll go put the ignitions on. And windshield bleed air is on low, that's fine. Gin anti-ice, well, I guess low is fine. Everything on low, it's not a very thick layer, so we're outside of it already. Thank you. It's passing 11,000 for 6,000. Right, or flight 000. level 110 for flight level 60, I should say. Alright, flight level 110 for flight level 60. Alright, here we are. We're tracking inbound to Pinnock. So we will switch to. Heading mode. We will put our nav source to nav one with a course of zero one seven. Zero one seven final approach course. Zero one seven and we will put the IGS frequency active. And we're picking up India Lima uniform. That's which, the one India Lima uniform. Okay, so we'll go back to nav mode now. Set up on the localizer. We got 12 miles to Pinnock. That's 2,000 feet to go. There we are. So we'll start uh, configuring slowly here. We'll put the we'll pull the power back, so we can start configuring to our steep uh, approach profile. It's going to be flaps 35, gear down, and speed brakes as required. We need 200 
nodded at the flaps. Roger. And the airport should be somewhere just out there in front in that valley. There's 200 knots. We'll take uh, flap 7, please. Alright, speed checks, flap 7. And we got a thousand feet to go. I believe we could just about see the runway there in front of us, yeah. We are leveling it at 6,000 for another three miles. And then we descend down to 5,000 feet to pass Caldo. And then we should intercept the glide path, glide slope, I should say, from there. Okay, we'll take flaps 15, please. All right, speed checks. Flaps approach. Take your down, please. Right, speed checks, gear down. Alright, the glide is coming down. Well, we'll go ahead and arm approach mode, actually. There we go on our way down. And we'll set the uh, 1026 on the altimeters, and we'll take flaps 35, please. Right, flaps 35, watch your speed. Alright, we ballooned quite a bit there. And Miss Broach Altitude, please, sir. Uh, Mr. Broach Altitude is 6,000 feet. All right, Miss Approach Altitude is set. All right, we're just about to pass Calda. Would you like a before landing checklist? We'll take a before landing checklist, please. Right, before landing checklist, landing gear is down three degrees. Landing lights are on. Ignitions are on. Flaps are set landing. Autopilot and yaw damper to go. Metamops. Speed brakes are retracted. And enunciator panel is clear. All right, before landing checklist complete. Thank you. All right, there was our rad out for the minimums. However, our minimums are actually 2,500 on the barrel altimeter. Since the terrain here is more elevated than it is over the lake, it, uh, we got our minimums call out.
minimums. Approaching our barometric minimums. Minimums. All right, and we will continue. And there's minimums. Go ahead and autopilot. Turn autopilot. off the autopilot. Take manual control. Approaching zero one. Five hundred. Check. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Come on, don't float. Three thousand feet remaining. All right, reverse. Right. Reverse is out and boards are up. All right, stow reverse, please. All right, reverse is stowed. Speed brakes in. And we'll backtrack. It'll be November. And we'll exit on November. Yeah, because Zulu is a grass runway. Which it uh, is right there. Grass, grass taxiway. On Excuse runway me. One, nine. All right, bit of a float, but not too bad, all things considered. Exit November, and we'll park up somewhere here. I'll right, we'll take flaps up, please. All right. Are you gonna want an after landing checklist once we're clear? Yeah, once we're past the whole short line. Roger. And turn the anti-collision lights off. Transponder. Oop. Not off, just stand by. And we'll take an after landing checklist, please. Our after landing thrust reversers are stowed. Flaps and trims. Flaps are up and trims are set for takeoff. Speed brakes are retracted. Ignitions can come off. Pedostatic heat will come off. Anti ice systems are off. Exterior lights are as required. And transponder and radar. Or standby. All right, after landing check is complete. Thank you. It's lovely down here in the valley. And we had a nice departure and a smooth approach into Lagana. Here we are. All right. We will go and shut down the left engine. 
sure those avionics are off as well. Connect surge on the, the ground power. Shut good. off. All right, right. Engine is off. Head and turn off the passenger seatbelt sign. Although we did turn off the power, and we will open the door. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Logano. Hope you enjoyed the flight, and I hope we'll see you next time.